Mathematics 2, Quarter 2, Week 7, Day 3. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chell. Please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Mathematics 2, Quarter 2, Week 7, Day 3. Learning Competencies the learners solve problems involving subtraction where both numbers are less than 100 with and without regrouping. Subtract numbers where both numbers are less than 1000 with and without regrouping and solve one and two step problems involving subtraction where both numbers are less than 1000 with and without regrouping. Learning Objectives at the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to solve one-step problems involving subtraction where both numbers, including money, are less than 1,000 with or without regrouping. Conduct a drill on basic subtraction facts. Good day, kids. Before we proceed to our new lesson, Let's answer the following tasks. Number 1, 743 minus 524. Number 2, 502 minus 185. 3, 314 minus 89. Today, we will learn how to solve one-step problems involving subtraction where both numbers, including money, are less than 1,000 with or without regrouping. Let's read the following words that we will be learning in this lesson. Height Tallest Shortest Subtraction Difference, left, subtract, farthest, nearest, change. Now let's look at the problem below. Four children took their heights. The results are shown in the table below. Anna, 139 centimeters. Tonton, 132 centimeters. Karen, 147 centimeters. Kaloy, 129 centimeters. Now let's answer this question. How many children took their heights? Correct! Four children took their heights. What are the names of the children? Very good! The children are Anna, Tonton, Karen, and Kaloy. Who is the tallest among the children? Great job! The tallest among the children is Karen, which is 147 centimeters. What is the height of Karen? Very good! The height of Karen is 147 centimeters. Who is the shortest among the children? Great! Kaloy is the shortest among the children. What is the height of Kaloy? The height of Kaloy is 129 centimeters. What is the difference between the height of Karen and the height of Kaloy? The answer is the difference in the heights of Karen and Kaloy is 18 centimeters. As you can see, 147 minus 129 equals 18. What is the difference between the height of the two boys? The difference between the heights of the two boys is 3 centimeters. 132 minus 129 equals 3. What is the difference between the heights of the two girls? The answer the difference between the heights of the two girls is 8 centimeters. 147 minus 139 equals 8. 
How was subtraction used in the problem? Subtraction was used to compare and find the difference between the heights of the children. Now kids, let's read the problem below. Mother had 500 pesos. She bought rice for 165 pesos. How much money was left with her? Now let's answer the following questions. Number one, how much money did mother have? Great, mother had 500 pesos. Number two, what did she buy with her money? Great job, she bought rice for 165 pesos. Number three, what did we do to find out the amount of money left with her? Very good. We need to subtract the cost of the rice from her money. How do we do that? 500 minus 165 equals 335. Number 5. How much money was left with the mother? 335 pesos was left with the mother. How was subtraction used in the problem? Subtraction was used to know how much money was left after buying the rice. What do you do when you are given some problems to solve? First, we have to read and understand the problem. Then, we look for the things or information that we need to solve the problem. After that, we think or plan how we can solve the problem. Then, carry out the plan. Lastly, we make sure if we are able to solve the problem or if the solution is correct. We need to write our answer in complete sentence or label it clearly. This time, let's solve the following problems. Number 1. There are 557 learners in a school. If 279 of these learners are girls, how many are boys? Number 2. Anna received a change of 125 pesos for buying a pair of shoes. What is the price of her shoes if her money was 500 pesos? Number 3. Study the table below, then answer the questions that follow. Name. May. Distance of house to school, 750 meters. Lara, 975 meters. Noel, 795 meters. Angel, 540 meters. Letter A, who lives farthest from the school? B, who lives nearest to the school? C, how much farther is May's house than Angel's house from the school? D. How much farther is Lara's house than Noel's house from the school? Kids, were you able to solve the problems? For number one, the answer is 278 learners are boys. So how did we do that? 557 minus 279 equals 278. For number 2, the price of the pair of shoes is 375 pesos. So 500 pesos minus 125 equals 375. Here are the answers in number 3. For letter A, Lara lives farthest from school. B, Angel lives nearest to school. C, Mary's house is 210 meters farther from school than Angel's house. So how did we do that? 750 minus 540 equals 210. Letter D, Lara's house is 180 meters farther from school than Noel's house. 975 minus 795 equals 180. How do you solve a worded problem in math? First, we have to read and understand the problem. 
Then, we look for the things or information that we need to solve the problem. After that, we think or plan how we can solve the problem. Then, carry out the plan. Lastly, we make sure if we are able to solve the problem or if the solution is correct. We need to write our answer in complete sentence or label it clearly. What are the situations that make use of subtraction? We use subtraction in situations where we need to compare numbers or quantities determine how many are left after something is taken away or find out how many were removed. For your evaluation, let's solve the following problems. Number 1. Miss Angel has 350 counters in a jar. Her friend borrows 125 of these counters. How many counters are left in the jar? Number 2. Brian has 300 pesos. He bought a toy that costs 165 pesos. How much money does he have left? Number 3. There are 257 girls and 379 boys in the school. How many more boys than girls are there in the school? And that's all for today. I hope you learned something. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.